Good morning and welcome to another episode of the Longhorn News. Today is Wednesday, February 26th, and we are your hosts, Derek Mesa and Jackson Staubel. And let's get into our stories for today. And now time for your Longhorn menu. Today, for second chance breakfast, you get a chocolate-filled croissant. And for lunch, we have chicken nuggets with a whole grain roll or pork egg rolls or, as always, chef salad. The sides are uh, roll, mashed potatoes and gravy, tossed salad, and diced pears. And now to Jackson with the announcements. For your announcements today, there are none. So now we're going to go to Trey with the weather. Thank you, Derek. Now, as you can see, I was wrong on yesterday's news weather report. It is, in fact, snowing, and uh, my years of meteorology have failed me. Um, but today is looking a lot nicer with a high of 42 and a low of 20. Back to you with the news, Derek. Thank you, Trey. And now we have more interviews for you today. We will be interviewing the state qualifiers in wrestling and choir. Hi, I'm Johnny, and I'm here with Emilia Martinez to talk to her about her wrestling season. So since your season's basically over after this week, how do you feel it went? Um, I feel like my season went pretty well. I had a, a lot of wins and losses, but my losses made me better. Yeah, I relate. And how do you feel when you qualify for state? Um, it felt pretty great. Coach was really happy and he gave me a hug. Mm. And what do you expect to happen Thursday? Um, I'm hoping I place at least top four. Is that it? Yeah. I'm scared. That's all right. You got it. Well, thank you and good luck. Thank you. Johnny, and I'm here with Sebastian Munoz to talk to him about wrestling. So, now that you're a senior and your wrestling season is basically almost over, how do you feel? I mean, I'm just like, dang, already, you know? That's too fast, you know, to be honest. Yeah, I feel you. And I heard on Saturday you qualified for state. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct right there. You heard correctly. All right, and finally... How do you feel going into state this weekend? I mean, I'll work too hard just to go there and not do none. So you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to go there and bring something back. You know, my mama wants some new jewels, so that's why I'm gonna get her. I feel you. All right. Well, thank you, Sebastian. Good luck. In time, bro. Hi, I'm Johnny, and I'm here with Ariana Rispe to talk to you about choir. So, as being a senior, how does your last year of choir feel? Um, honestly, pretty bittersweet. It's really. It's really nice seeing how much I've like grown from my freshman year this far out, but uh, it's really fun. Yeah. Good time. All right. And um, how'd you feel when you qualified for state? I was really excited. Um, I found out like when I was in the band room, and I like, I like yelled really loud. Um, it was it was just a really good moment. Yeah, I understand. And obviously, as being a senior, what's one of your most memorable moments in choir? Um, probably the choir conference last year because um, only Bella and I qualified for that last year so it was really good it was really good and it was nice to be in a place just filled with people who were just like phenomenal musicians uh, okay okay all right well that's all and thank you and good luck that's all we have time for today thank as always thank you for watching and we hope you have a great day this is me Derek and Jackson signing off Good Wednesday morning, Longhorns. Welcome to the third day of National FFA Week. Make sure you check your email for all the exciting things happening this week. Don't forget the Kiss the Pig Coins for Charity contest is going on. Be sure to bring all your spare change. The head with the most money at the end of the week will be kissing a pig. Just a reminder, trivia question prizes will go to the fastest correct answer and also 10 correct answers will be entered in a drawing for prizes. Round 7 FFA trivia question will be on the news. Round 8 will be on the Holcomb FFA Twitter page, and Round 9 will be sent to your email. If you dressed up for American Day today, email Ms. Vinja on a picture to be entered in a drawing for prizes. Round 7 trivia question is, How many steers were born in the year 2019? Oh, gosh. Friday Night Smackdown. No, no, look 